What is going on, you guys? I'm to a brand new video. So, I thought I'd do this unboxing a little bit differently. I uh, just have everything already out of the box. Nothing else like talking about the box. Like, oh, this is a nice uh, shape here and whatever. Yeah, no. So, the tablet we are going to be talking about today and showcasing you guys is the Asus ZenPad 3S10. Now, this tablet released back in 2017. Uh, for about $300 and I was lucky enough to get it for about a lot cheaper than that price <laughs> So yeah uh, on Amazon though if you guys are interested in this tablet after this video They are going for brand new $290 or used for $215 So yeah, that's just a little tip for you guys. So why did I get a tablet? Well mainly because I I don't have a computer and I can't afford a computer, no like a decent laptop or desktop or anything like that. But I wanted something for big screen that I can edit videos, play emulators, uh, watch movies, and something with good, great quality screen, sound, and all that good stuff. Yes, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 phone, but I want to keep my phone as a phone, not just like always playing games or watching movies on it uh, because my battery ends up draining faster and then at the end of the day uh, my battery could either be dead or like at 5% and I have no charger around me. So I'd rather keep my phone as what it's meant to be, just a phone for social media, texting, calling, all that other stuff, taking pictures, making videos like I am right now, that's what I'm recording with is my Note 8. So I've been using this tablet for a while now, uh, about a few days, and I really want to get myself one of those keyboard covers for this thing and a wireless Bluetooth mouse for it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go through some specs real quick just to get that all out the way. So this is a 9.7 inch display, 2K resolution of 2048 by 1536. So you're going to get some really crispy like text and pictures and when you watch your you can watch your 1440p videos on YouTube and all that good stuff. This also this tablet also has a 180 degree viewing angle so if you no matter which way you turn it, you're going to still get a nice experience. You're still going to get that nice crispy visuals, all that other good stuff in case you're by yourself and you just feel like watching a movie like this. If you're just that person, I, I I, I don't know. Okay, so this has 64 gigs built in storage, which I really, really love, with uh, expandable memory up to 128 gigs, which is something I will be doing later on. 64 gigs is great and everything, but nowadays, the, the way as big as apps are, games uh, or movies, whatever, it's going to take up a lot of space. So I highly recommend if you do plan on getting this tablet with 64 gigs of storage. Uh, or if you have any device with 64 gigs of storage, upgrade it with an SD card if you're able to do that. It also has a hexa-core processor running 6 cores as well as 4 gigs of RAM. So this thing is going to be great for multitasking, running multiple programs at the same time. Uh, you can also do two things at once just like you would like uh, on your your phone depending on the type of phone you have. You got two things running like this at the same time kind of like you would on like a desktop or something like that in case you want to do something here you want to drag something over here or make it smaller or something like that you can do that if you want to make it this small you can make it that small or you could do traditional split screen view which is down the middle have one thing here and one thing there doing two things at once you have that option to do that so that's really really cool I really love that feature, especially if I'm typing, typing out something maybe for a new video or one of my stories or something like that. And I want to have like a movie running in the background or watching The Office or something like that while I'm typing. I can do that and I freaking love that. Let me go over the cameras real quick. So this has a front facing 5 megapixel camera, records, able to record in 1080p which is pretty cool. Uh, and the back is an 8 megapixel camera, also able to record in 1080p both at 30 frames. Right, let me show you guys real quick how super thin this thing is, I mean look at that. How thin is this thing, it's really really nice. Okay so this does have two speakers at the bottom right here, both here and here. 
uh, which are extremely loud and night crispy sounding. I love the way this tablet sounds. Uh, it also has USB Type C, and it does have a fingerprint sensor right here, so you can unlock your tablet using your fingerprint. So that's really really nice. I love that addition. So I just don't have to like type in any codes or like do a finger uh, pattern swipe or anything like that. I love fingerprint sensors, so that's why I love that it has it on here. But if I bring down the drop bar right here. These are what you have available to you like fr fresh out the box. So you have something this, I'm not sure I haven't messed with this one yet, but it says right here, bring it closer, uh, DTS Headphone X. So it has four or five different options, it has gaming, uh, vocal, smart, music, and movie. So I'm guessing if you have your headphones on, you get different, uh, I guess they're equalizers, so you get different sounds depending on what you're doing. You can do game, if you're doing gaming, click on that and then you'll get the best sound you can have for gaming, uh, according to this at least. So that is really, really neat. I love how they did that. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, let's bring down the drop bar again. So you have your Wi-Fi. You also have a calculator right there. This is really cool. So after you're done doing everything, if you notice that your tablet's slowing down for some reason because you got like 40 different things running, uh, right here you have the option to boost your memory. So it basically refreshes your uh, RAM of programs that you're not using or that are taking up memory that they don't really need to be. So you can swipe it down once more and then right here you have your brightness adjuster right here which is which is really basic and you also have other stuff like location, mute, hotspot, uh, blue light filter, airplane, Wi-Fi and all that other good stuff. You can also add more to it right here. These are a little bit extra things you can add and or switch up like quick memo, camera, screenshot. Screenshot, I actually might want that on here because uh, I don't not really a fan of like holding the volume and the power button just to take a freaking screenshot so that's actually really useful uh, let's see nearby Google Play something I don't know what that is uh, do not disturb that's another good one uh, auto sync quick memo so yeah you guys get the picture uh, so that's pretty much it for that so right out of the box this is running Android 7.0 I'm not able to, for some reason, uh, see if there's any updates every time when I try to. It says photo services are not available or something like that or has stopped working. So I'm not really sure why it does that, but here is the settings, how they look right here. This for device, you have display, notifications, sound, uh, storage right there, downloads apps, Zen Motion. Let's see what that is. Uh, okay, so you can do different uh, touch gestures for I believe accessing different applications Z stylus so they did make a pen specifically for this device uh, that you're able to do all your drawing and all it's not as 100% accurate I think I don't think as like the Apple pen or the uh, S pen for Samsung devices but uh, from what I've seen you're still able to do you know your drawing uh, don't expect to like write really fast with it, but you can do your draw. Fortunately, I don't have the pen to show you guys that. Uh, let's see, it has battery. So the battery on this can last up to 10 hours. I haven't tested that out yet, but I've had this I have I had this charged all night, and I took it off charge. I believe it was around uh, I want to say around 12 o'clock that I took it off charge around 11 or 12 o'clock today uh, p.m. I took it off charge and it's right now 734 and it's at 39% now that's mainly because I was gaming a lot on this thing today I was playing Dreamcast I was playing PSP all that stuff so that's obviously going to contribute to the battery draining uh, let's see so it has lock screen fingerprint kids mode uh, which is something useful for me uh, especially when my daughter wants to watch like movies and stuff like that Security accounts, all that other good stuff, date, time, developer options, system updates, all that, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so let's see how this performs. Now, I could show you guys the web browser or anything like that, but unfortunately I don't have Wi-Fi. And if I tether to my phone, it's probably going to be a little bit slower than what it would be if you're connected to a better Wi-Fi connection. Uh, but the, wi uh, the web browser that I use are both Firefox Focus and Edge. 
Uh, Edge, I really love using. I always love using it on a desktop, so I had to get it on a tablet. Uh, that's basically my main web browser. You got the Play Store over here. I have a Google's folder. Uh, so you have like the basic Google stuff right there. Tools. So nothing it came with came with the Myos 2 Service Center. It came with Power and Boost, uh, which, you know, are there if you just like want to like boost the memory like I was saying earlier. Uh, let's see, I also have Clean Master so I can like get rid of all the junk files that are taking up storage. Uh, I also have games right here, my games folder. And let's see, I can hit the app drawer, is right in the middle. You press that and you have all your apps, your extra apps that are not on your home screen. Uh, let's see, you also have widgets right there. If you would like to access it, you just press widgets. And then you have all of your widgets right here. Whatever you need available, you can also type and search for the certain app or widget you're looking for. Uh, okay, let's see, all are downloaded, okay. So that's pretty much it for the basic stuff. I mean, this tablet on paper is great, and testing it out is has been even better. I love the way this thing can handle what everything that I'm trying to like to do with it. So it has its own dedicated ASUS folder right here. These are stuff that it came with. So you have clock, supernova, do it later, weather, fo uh, photo collage, mini movie. Now this. I really would like to use, I'm going to test it out, see how it works for editing videos uh, because the program that I do use, I believe it's called Direct something, I forget, I actually paid for it, it was a $10 app. Uh, that's where I do all my video editing and to render videos in 4K. Now this, I have not tried it, I don't know how it works or anything like that. I'll give it a shot one day and let you guys know how it works, but that's also useful in case you want to do any, you know, like video editing. Uh, Alright, so why don't we just go ahead and test out a game so I can show you guys how this thing performs. So what we're going to do is I have my Xbox One controller uh, Bluetooth synced to the tablet. So we're going to go ahead and go to games and alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to my phone internet and show you guys how Shadowgun Legends run because that's probably the most graphical game that I have here and test out a couple other ones so yeah catch you in a second okay so before we go ahead and start up a game I just want to real quick show you guys the web browser so this web browser I'm using is Microsoft Edge if you have a PC you're obviously uh, you recognize this if, if but if you're one of those people that still use Chrome then you're just that person uh, <laughs> there's nothing really wrong with Chrome I just prefer uh, Microsoft Edge really uh, so yeah so I'm right now on the weather.com website so let's go to uh, let's see let's go to reddit how about that I haven't been on reddit in forever so I'm gonna just type in reddit and binge pops up look right here and let's see so it's surprisingly running pretty decently fast okay I kind of jinxed it just now uh, when it's just being tethered off my phone internet so it's actually doing better than I thought it would even though it's still taking a there we go alright we're, we're good to go now uh, no I don't want the app right now I just want to show the mobile website so here it is right here you got your website all that other good stuff let's see if I click right here I can view desktop site so if you want to make it even more like a computer uh, using like a regular computer web browser just click on desktop mode and now you are running in desktop mode of course nothing's loading up because again I am tethering my internet and I believe I went past 50 gigs so yeah it's gonna be like this uh, but still you guys get the idea and there you go let's see let's get out of here let's get a mini movie alright so I'm gonna go ahead and test out a game right now let's see Shadowgun Legends. Now I would wait here and show you guys like how long it takes for the game to load up, but remember I'm tethering, so it's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna pause the video and get to the gameplay. All right, so here we are in game Shadowgun Legends. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure this is maxed out. Uh, let's go to settings. Okay, so it's set to auto right now. So when it's set to auto, it's gonna run at probably the best frame rates uh, you're gonna get with this. Uh, it's, it, either way, it's going to run great. Uh, actually, you know what? Before I even change that. So this is how it runs and looks on low settings. Uh, I mean, auto settings. I'm sorry. So, yeah, you got all this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and kill some things. And then we're going to change it uh, 
to maxed out. So right now, look at the shadows and everything like that. This is how everything looks. Let's go ahead and kill something. Alright. I don't remember if I even exited out any of the other background programs. I think I did, actually. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to show up right now and just let you guys watch some gameplay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the graphics up. Uh, I'm going to see if I max them out right now from low, medium, high, ultra high. That is the max right there. And let's see, this is going to give you a little warning that performance issues, all the other crap, uh, will take place after restart. But it didn't. It's actually all set right here so you guys can see that, see the shadows, the sparks, everything. Uh, particles flying in the air, all that good stuff. So yeah, this is now maxed out, and you know what? It's still running good, honestly. You, but you know what's annoying me right now? I'm sorry. I got to change this. I got to set it to invert. <laughs> I really got to. Yes, I'm those. I'm that person that plays inverted, uh, just because that's me. Uh, that's how. That's how I prefer my gaming. Deal with it. If you guys want to know what this type of game this is, this is basically Destiny on the go. It's a first person shooter made by the developers of Dead Trigger 1 and 2 and Unkilled. So this game is both beautiful and really really fun. I love this game. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and set the turret right here just in case something. Oh god! I love that little thing. That was awesome. Okay. So I think you guys get the gist of this game and how much I suck at it. I'm sorry, the angle that I'm playing at right now is not helping me show off my skills. I'll say one thing they gotta fix about this game, and that's the multiplayer, because it takes forever to get into a match in this game. Oh, just to prove this is basically uh, Destiny on the go, check out the big guy with the shield. Does that not re remind you of Destiny 2 already? Oh, I believe they're called the Fallen, or something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this game right here. So you guys get the gist of how everything looks in this game. It's beautiful, I love it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of here and test out a different game now. Okay, so now. That was probably the most graphical game I was able, I'm able to show you guys that I could think of. Uh, I think another game would be Darkness Rises. So I'm going to show you guys one more Android game, and then I'm going to show you guys how emulators run on this thing, which is my favorite part. Oh my goodness. I never thought I'd be playing like em emulators this much until I got this tablet, honestly. Because I was, I was always more of like, I want to play on the actual, on the only actual gameplay on the actual system and everything. Which I still prefer that way, but the fact that I can play all these games like with me wherever I go is just really, really nice to have. Okay, so this is a somewhat newly released game called Darkness Rises. I actually did a gameplay video on it. It is a hack and slash Tado. Uh, which is really, it's a really, really fun game. Graphics are gorgeous. Gameplay is a lot of fun. I don't know if it's maxed out right now. I don't believe it is. Yeah, it's on mid settings right now. So that that should tell you something. When if you're playing a game that you know is gonna have like really intense graphics, uh, and your whatever device you're using is set to auto, this should show you the kind of power your tablet is running right now. So auto has it set to medium settings. Quality graphics are set to high. Screen refresh rate set to medium. Uh, mid uh, resolution set to mid, so we're gonna change everything. We're gonna put everything on ultra, everything on high, just everything up. All right, so we're gonna close out of that now. Uh, I believe, yep, it's still set. And man, that bird does not shut up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into a game right here. We'll jump into a adventure. Uh, we're gonna do a repeat of a um, mission here and just start something random. 
Yes, I am playing with a watermelon uh, slice as a sword. So this is how the game looks, this is how it runs. Graphics are super gorgeous, I love the way this game looks. Uh, now, I don't know if you would have to, if you set the graphics up, I don't know if you have to restart the game. Um, or they're already set, that I can't really tell you, but just playing this right now, it just looks gorgeous still. Like, either way, like, if I'm not, wasn't mistaken, this looks like it's maxed out. Alright, so let's go ahead and kill something. So this is the gameplay right here, it's hack and slash, and you could also have, like, your... You also have like these quick kill like time event things, so if like there's a staggering enemy you can like press the button and he'll rush off to them and stab them like give them a deathly blow. Alright. Just wanna kill a couple more things before I uh, end the video here. Orcs kinda remind me from, uh, remind me of Lord of the Rings right here. Oh, this is where you do your deadly blow. Oh, right there. That's it. So yeah, you guys get the gist of this game right here. It looks beautiful, runs great, no problem whatsoever. And this game is free, so you guys, I recommend you guys try it out. It's actually a lot of fun. Okay, so now we're going to jump into emulators, and what better way to start off with than Dreamcast. So, what game do I want to test out? I would like to show you guys uh, let's see, how about some Sonic? Because that's always like the go-to thing. And then I'll show you guys one more Dreamcast game on how it looks, which... Okay, so I did set the controls already to this. Now, this <laughs> emulator was a pain in the butt to get and to find, get like the BIOS and everything like that. Pain in the butt. Okay, so I also turned on the frame rates up there so you're gonna see in game the frame rates we're getting. And I had the volume all the way up, so yeah, there's that. I really hope I don't get copyrighted, honestly, because I, I don't need that at all. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and jump into, we're gonna do a new one. Just so we can play everyone's favorite level. Story select. All right, here we go. Skip through this. Don't worry, didn't freeze. I skipped. And attention, all units. Suspect C heading south. Drop all major roads. God, I suck at this. I love this game. So many memories. One way to find out must be fun. I didn't even notice this game was running like around 36 frames right now. It feels like it's running a lot better than that. Now I didn't adjust any of the graphical settings. So what you're seeing right now is, you know, once you download the, the emulator and install the BIOS all that stuff, this is how it's going to run naturally. 
Depending on the device, of course, but this is without tweaking anything. Alright, I'm gonna stop right here. Okay, because if I don't, uh, I'm just gonna, like, not... Not gonna wanna stop playing. Alright, so, oh, quit. Uh, let's see, let's, uh, try one more game here on the Dreamcast emulator, and then I'm gonna show you guys how PSP runs on here. Now this is gonna be nice. I was super excited when I seen this game and I was like, oh my god, I forgot about this. I didn't forget about the game, I forgot that it was on Dreamcast. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and... Man, I remember the, the day I first got my Dreamcast. It was uh, around, I think it was like a few days after it came out. Uh, I went to GameStop, or it was Funko Land at the time, late at night, and uh, they were just about to close, I picked up my Dreamcast, no games, I just got the game that I came with in the box, that MKD, whatever it was too, uh, so that's what I was playing, and I had school the next day, I just plugged it, it went to my grandparents' house, plugged it in on their big old TV, and I was just playing for hours, and I didn't even care that there was school the next day. So a lot of memories with the Dreamcast. So it says right now, showing that it's running about 18 frames, but... To be honest, this feels like it normally did, you know, back in the day. Even though, like, when you play emulators, you want to play your games... Yeah, you want to play them, you know, like, just like you did back in the day, but, you know... When you're running an emulator, you want to at least be able to get better frame rates uh, and some better visuals too, you know, like HD visuals. So you're playing on a more than powerful enough device. So I may tweak the settings, you know, later on, but for right now, I'm enjoying the way games have been running and looking and everything. No complaints here. Oh crap. Oh, I would love if I had, uh, the joystick, uh, arcade stick, I mean. That would have been awesome. Oh, snap, I'm starting to get ideas. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh... Okay, so you guys get the gist now of this thing. <laughs> Sorry, I get a little ahead of myself, I forget that I'm even recording a video. Alright, uh, so I guess I can show you guys one game on PSP. Uh, show you guys how that runs, then you guys will get the whole idea of how this thing is. And you can see that if you are like one of those big time gamers like me, so this is gonna be perfect for you then. Tony Hawk for some reason, I wanted to keep playing, but that's like the one game I have on here that keeps kicking me out. For, I have no idea what reason it keeps doing that, but let's see. I have Kingdom Hearts, Birth by Sleep, Final Fantasy, Crisis Core, Third Birthday. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to try King, um, Tony Hawk one more time. And if it kicks me out, then whatever. That's when I'll end the gaming part of this video. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to pick my, one of my favorites, Rodney Mullen. Here we go, Santa Cruz. And... I left it like, okay, wow, that actually loaded pretty nice, pretty fast. Okay, so it wants to use the directional pads for some reason. God, I suck at this game. It's probably going to definitely kick me out. Oh yeah, did that on purpose. Oh, perfect. Oh! No one saw that. No one saw that. See, now this is a Tony Hawk game. What the heck was that crap? Uh, Tony Hawk 5 or whatever it was, post Gear 5. That was awful. See, freaking out like that. That was great. That was good times right there. I have not played a Tony Hawk game in, oh my gosh. Since this one, actually. <laughs> Since this, no, no, it was, uh... No, it was this game. It was, uh, Underground 2. Okay, so yeah, for some reason... So yeah... For some reason, it kicks me out whenever I try to play Tony Hawk. 
but all the other games that have on my PSP emulator work perfectly, no problem. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. This was the Asus Zenpad 3S10. Great for uh, multitasking, great for if you want to get papers on like typing, watching movies, the sound quality is great. I'll show you guys an example of a video right now. I'll show you guys how that runs. So I'm going to show you guys right now my favorite movie. This is the sound quality and this is how it looks. Okay, so I'm in it right there. I don't want to like it. But strike. Copyright. Yeah, I don't want that to happen to me. <laughs> so yeah, you guys get the gist of this. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it you guys. This is the Asus Zenpad 3 S10 tablet. 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, 2K display, 180 degree viewing angle. Uh, what was that? Uh, you got really, really great sound. Fingerprint uh, sense scanner right there. 8 megapixel camera in the back, 5 in the front, 1080p video front and back. Uh, yeah, so other than that, I mean, what's there not to like about this tablet? I love this thing, I can't wait to get a case for it and get a keyboard for it so I can do my typing and all that stuff. And yeah, so thanks for watching you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all at another time, another video, take care.